Hello, welcome to our historic premises here in St. James's Street, which date back to the 17th century. I'm Alan, and this is Adam, and we're going to be showing you around a little bit of our premises this morning. We've been here since 1698, but actually when we were established, we weren't a wine merchant at all. We were a coffee merchant, uh, hence the name The Coffee Mill and the sign that you'll see outside. And coffee was very much the trendy thing at the time, uh, and the lady that lived here spotted an opportunity to wholesale coffee to the growing number of coffee houses in, in the area. And the scales were used to weigh the coffee, and later on when the business started to sell tea and snuff, spices, cocoa, the scales were also used to weigh that produce. So bizarre as it seems for a shop to be weighing their customers, um, it was actually done here as a matter of course right up until the 1950s. There's about two and a half hundred weight on here, which is more than enough probably for, for you, Adam, but there was a time, the heaviest person we've ever weighed here is actually a sumo wrestler, I understand, where, who came here and we didn't have enough weight, so we had to go and get some cases of wine to add to this to get that to, uh, you know, to balance properly. So from 1765, we've kept records in big uh, leather-bound ledgers of all the weights of the customers who've been weighed for here for the last 150 years. And so you'll have a whole page with a, with a customer and you'll see their weight sort of rising throughout their life and sometimes they would feel the need to express a, a reason as to why their weight had suddenly shot up. So they might have said uh, wearing heavy overcoat and spurs or after heavy lunch or sitting with mistress on knee. But these ledgers, they've got fantastic uh, history in them. I mean, there's um, quite members of the royal family. There's the Aga Khan uh, are all listed here as well. And the William Great and the Pitt was in here as well. So yeah, every, everyone who was anyone came in and had their weight taken. So this is a letter that we received from the White Star Line, the owners of the Titanic, um, which of course sank. And this letter was written the day after the ship sank um, and simply details the fact that Berry Brothers and Co, as we were at the time, uh, lost 69 cases when, when the ship went down. This is a model of Doll's House, which was commissioned by a cousin of Queen Mary. Queen Mary was a real collector of ob objets d'art, and she particularly liked miniature things. All royal warrant holders who could potentially have something to offer um, were asked to make some sort of contribution to the house. And so Berry Brothers and Co. were asked to make a contribution in the form of the wine cellar. We, in turn, went to our suppliers and asked them to help us. And so all of these bottles, whatever it said on the label of the bottle, actually went into the bottle. Uh, the attention to detail is, is phenomenal. And actually, in the castle itself, not only does it have gas and electric and running water, there's actually a, a miniature toilet that actually flushes. That's quite an extraordinary thing. So people will walk past here all the time and they see this sort of dark green small shop frontage, but they don't realize that there's actually a, a lot more going on here. We actually have about two acres in total of cellars arranged over three levels. Uh, so it's a bit of a maze, um, but we'll go and see if we can uh, not get lost. So Berry Brothers and Rudd is still very much a family-owned business, uh, and they store um, a large portion of their wine collection here in what we call the House Reserve. These are bottles which are not for sale, not commercially for sale, but they're used for entertaining, and of course they give us some legendary experiences and our customers when they come in uh, to, to have lunch. Okay, we're in the Pickering Cellar, which is a room that we use largely for education. It was in fact the place where we used to bottle wine because uh, historically berries used to ship wine in barrel. So we've descended another level from the Pickering Cellar where we have our wine school and we're now about 32 feet below uh, the road level and uh, this is what we call the Napoleon Cellar um, and it, it's so named not after Bonaparte himself but after his nephew, who while he was in exile in London, he actually lodged here with the berries, uh, and now we use it for entertaining. And so in hosting our own events down here in the cellars, people are able just to buy a ticket and come along and experience the place, get a feel for it, meet some, some of the very, very best producers around, um, and sample their fantastic wines. And also, you know, the food here is absolutely fantastic, so it's not to be missed. 
So here we have a range of wines uh, which is available for people who just want to come in off the street and buy a bottle. There's a team of people here whose job it is specifically to help people with their wine needs, you know, whatever that may be, whether you're looking for something for six pounds or six thousand, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. They're very highly trained, they know their wines, they particularly know, know these wines and they're really here to try and put you at ease if you feel uncomfortable and just to help and make sure that you leave with the, the right wine for your purposes.